Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel to get your daily Bible verse and Bible chapter. I hope you have a great day and come back each and every day for a new verse and a new chapter. Thank you and God bless. Ezekiel 45, the Lord's sacred land. The Lord said, when the land of Israel is divided among 12 tribes, you must set aside the area that will belong to me. This sacred area will be 12 kilometers long and 10 ki kilometers wide. The temple will be a piece will be on a piece of land 255 meters square and the temple will be completely surrounded by an open space 25 meters wide I will give half of my sacred land a section 12.5 kilometers long and 5 kilometers wide to the priest who serves in the temple. Their houses will be on this half as well as my temple which is one of the most sacred peace place of all. I will give another half of my land to the Levites who work in my temple and and the towns where they live will be there. Next to my sacred land I will give an area 12.5 kilometers long and three kilometers wide this will belong to the people of Israel will include the city of Jerusalem land for Israel's ruler the Lord said the regions west and east of my sacred land and the city of Jerusalem will belong to the ruler of Israel. He will give he will be given the region between the western edge of my land and the Mediterranean Sea and between the eastern edge of my land and the Jordan River. The same as the section of land given to the tribes. This property will belong to every ruler of Israel so that they will always be fair to my people and let them live peaceably in the land given to their tribes. Israel must be honored. The Lord God said, You lead leaders of Israel have cheated and abused my people long enough. I want to stop you sinning and start doing what's right and fair. You must never again force my people off their land, own land, the Lord has spoken. So from now on, you must use honest weights and measurements. The ephra will be the standard dry measurement. And the bath will be the standard 
liquid measurement. Their size will be based on the Homer, which will equal the Afrin's 10 or 10 bass. The, st the standard uh, unit of weight will be the shackle. One shackle equals 20 grass and 60, 60 shackle will be will equal one minna. Leaders of Israel must bring one you one sixteenth of their grain harvest as offerings to me. They will also bring a pers one percent of their olive oil. These things will be measured according to the bath. A and ten baths is the same as one homer or one core. Finally, they must bring one sheep out of every 200 from their flocks. These offerings will be used as grain sacrifices as well as sacrifices to please me and these those to ask my blessings. I, the Lord, will be pleased with these sacrifices and will forgive the sins of my people. The people of Israel will bring these offerings, but during new moon festivals, Sabbath celebrations, and other religious feasts, you leaders will be responsible for providing animals for the sacrifices, as well as the grain and wine. All these will be used for the sacrifices for, for sin. The grain sacrifices, the sacrifices to please me and those to ask my blessing will be pleased and forgive the sins of my people. The festivals. The Lord God said on the first day of the month, the young bull that's nothing that has nothing wrong with it must be offered as a sacrifice to plentify the temple. The priest will take some blood from the sacrifice and smear it on the doorpost of the temple as well as the four corners of the altar and on the doorpost of the gates that lead into the inner courtyard. The same ceremony must be done on the seventh day of the month so that anyone who sins accidentally or without knowing it will be forgiven and so that my temple will remain holy. Beginning on the 14th day of the first month and continuing on the se for seven days, everyone will celebrate Passover and eat bread made without yeast. On the first day, the ruler will bring a bull, offer as a sacrifice, 
for his sins and for the sins of the people. Each day of the festival, he is to bring seven bulls and and seven rams as sacrifices to please me. He must and he must bring a goat as a sacrifice for sin. These animals must have nothing wrong with them. He also provide nine kilograms of grain and three liters of olive oil to be offered with each bull and each ram. The festivals of shelters will begin on the 15th day of the seventh month and will continue for seventh day for seven days on each day of the festival the ruler will provide the same number of animals that he did each day during passover as well as the same amount of grain of and olive oil for the sacrifices psalms Proverbs 19.17 Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord and he will be re- he will reward them for what they have done. Proverbs 19.17 One of my favorite verses is Philippians 4.13 and it says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If you have your own favorite verse, please put that down below and let me know what it is. Always remember to smile because you never know what a smile can do for someone's day. Thank you. God bless. Thank you for watching today's video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe so you can remember to watch each and every day's video. Thank you for the ones that have been with me from the beginning. Please help me expand my ministry. Thank you and God bless.